I live. I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Thank you. Uh, you know, as an actress, I, I, I suspect this is a really interesting role in that you have a lot going on that you're, you're, you have to sort of project this strength because if you don't, you're dead. But yeah. you're also a very naive person who's struggling, trying to find your way. And you're taking these breaks to talk to the audience, breaking the fourth wall. And I'm just wondering, you know, from an acting standpoint, how do you stay where you need to be as, as you're doing the episodes? Yeah, I mean, that's literally my thought during the whole uh, process. I was like, oh, am I playing this too vulnerable? Am I playing this too detached from emotion? And it was definitely like, because like you said, she's such a multifaceted person. She is vulnerable and strong and weak and detached from emotion at times. And so that line was difficult to balance. And that's where I took guidance from my director and we even reshot some scenes twice because we had one version where the young Catherine was more you know more powerful and stoic and another where she was more emotional or you know evidently emotional and so to see how that is on screen now is really interesting and I think I think they've they've the way they've edited it is is um you can see that the increase of her confidence and power, uh, but very subtly. You know, as, as you're doing the show, you know, even if you're familiar with this period of history, her story is very unique. And I'm wondering if you felt like you sort of understood her a little bit by the end of this process. Yes. I mean, I hope so. Definitely. I think, I mean, I only played the young Catherine. And so I, I'm really excited for, for to discover how, how she grew up. And to have earned her, you know, notorious reputation for being evil. Um, but as for young Catherine, I mean, she was a teenager um, at the end of the day. I'm not far off a teenager. I'm 22. But I still remember what it's like to be so full of angst and like, you know, not being able to manage your emotions very productively. And also she's falling in love for the first time and also being rejected for the first time in terms of uh, romantic love. And so that was a, a really a, a gift to explore because this is these you know themes are quite untimely they're, they're happening now and they happened in the 16th century a young girl falling in love and unreciprocated love well you know certainly a, a 16 year old's life back then was a little bit more complicated than ones now even yeah. though it feels very horrible now i don't think there's much of a comparison no definitely not as much of a literal survival <laughs> Need, yeah. you know one of the things i really enjoyed about the show is that it felt like it even though it was written by a man had a very female point of view that it really mm. focused on what Catherine and, and some of the other women in the, the show were going through it and I, I suspect maybe that was one of the things you found attractive about it yeah definitely i mean i always think it's very important to um have to, to have a women-led drama um but because it was a period piece she's not your typical period drama queen represented. She's described as no great beauty. She's unrefined. She's an outsider. She literally is subjected to prejudice and, and I guess xenophobia because she's Italian, not French. She's in a man's world. Um, and the fact that she retains this resilience and self, self-esteem is remarkable. And that's what really attracted it to me. And also just, a, it's, it's quite funny. I, I found it quite subtly witty and intelligent. Um, I really loved the writing of, of Justin. Well, obviously you enjoyed doing the show, but when it was all over, was there something you just thought, if I never have to do this again, I'll be really a happy person? Yeah, I think, um, I think wearing a corset, in fact, it was like the biggest dress I've ever worn in the height of summer in France. It was... I mean, I, 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 if I had to choose between too hot or too cold, I'd choose too cold. It was, it was awful. I mean, it wasn't awful. It's not like a, a difficult job. I was very well looked after, but I wouldn't want to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. I really enjoyed that. I've seen five episodes so far. I really enjoyed okay. it so far. And I'm uh, looking forward Great. to everybody seeing it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Thank you very much, Rick. Bye.